You guys are nicely backlit, but we'll solve that as soon as you turn around. Brian Ted. Yes, this is bowling. I'll fix that day date, it's all screwed up. It's actually August 21st, Wednesday at 841. Yeah, it's a crazy news director. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You know I think I've done. Hey, a lot of people put the right Right, right. Yep, I've got that. Um, if you put the Jim O'Donnell. We needed our sunglasses on today, but. I can lend you a pair. Yeah, I have mine inside my office. My cold is better. No rhinovirus. No kidding. Nope, no rhino. I think it's being outside in this warm air, Mary, that's doing the so. miracle. Probably, probably. You know, do you need a name tag? Yes. Just in case people forget. I know, I said it. You want a name tag? I'm sorry, you are? Oh, I know. Oh, no. Actually, I don't. I don't think we're forbidden inside. All right, Mr. Marlin, this is your big day, this big day big of two. Day. You know, we're here. Got the boxes. I haven't unpacked them yet, but everybody else has already moved in. The only job in the world where you can get not one but two. The cooler's empty right now. But, but four Sony Wega TV sets. That's right. Colleen has stacked me up with a whole plentiful box of crackle, so I'll be set today for my sugar eye. And uh, AJ's over here. Good morning. How are you today? That's good. Hi, Marlon. How you doing? Day one. That's right. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Consolidated Freight will be here today with a different driver to good. deliver the oh, WSI. Oh, did you deliver last night? Oh, it was a whole issue again last night. Really? Yeah. Did he show up? Yes. And he but left. why? He didn't have a lift gate again? No, because he basically... Since he didn't offer to break it apart, right. he said, are you calling me a liar? I said, yeah, but the we need to deliver it in the back. The same guy? I said, yeah, but we need to deliver you in the back. I'm not coming back there. You take it out front or I don't deliver. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what was it? Freight. It was uh, the, the weather, WSI. WSI. The oh. Weather so what are they bringing? Today, this morning. So it could be okay. here any time. Because the weather folks are coming in today. They're going to right. training. So who unloads all that into the weather well, center? we might need some help from everything. Paul Gordon doing uh, super user training in the main studio. No glass yet. Setting up a projector here for the the big show. So have you ghost written well, me something? Has it that AOL just tendered a purchase at the very same moment. Our phone lines are not working right now. Could that explain why I can't get the internet? That explains why you cannot get the internet and why I just carried that big old CPU unit over here because I could not email it 100 feet away. So what do we got here? We have a um, basically a picture story of the last six months okay. that we're going to put up on the screen. Good. 11.15. Yeah. And they're in orientation. Nobody's quit I've yet. I've done my little spiel for the uh, road tour video. Oh. The picnic tables are all set up in the back. Great. we got the grill cooking. Beth's has got the burgers, dogs, and chicken going. Okay. We've got our special chairs here all in place for everybody to have a nice, comfortable place to sit as they work here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's right. We told them the work hours. That's right. We're going to give them lots of food, lots of drink. But they don't know what's coming after that. <laughs> Is it real? Yeah. In the Grand Cayman Islands. My dad took the picture. Yeah. This is the right. well, presentation fine. today. We're going to set it on autopilot so I don't have to sit here and right. hit the advanced key. It's the weather studio here. I got the robot camera set up. Yeah. He's shooting you, Brett Whitmarsh. <laughs> gotcha. 
<laughs> hey, Mom. Chicken. That chicken looks a little overdone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Bye, Chris. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> There's a funny people have some phobia about being photographed eating. Is it undignified or what? I'll take their picture eating. The zoom is right there. You just test it. We well, don't eat like this every day, so. How's everybody doing? Well, welcome to Albany. I'm Al Marlin, the general manager for the News Channel. Hope everybody likes the brand new facility here. It's a, I'm sure it's a lot different for a lot of folks that were in here a couple months ago. And we're all excited about everybody being here. There's going to be a lot going on over the uh, next couple days. Uh, everybody's got a schedule in their packet. If you did not get your packet, a uh, plastic bag with t shirt and the schedule and some other things in there. Uh, why don't you just step up over here after we're done and uh, Cindy Martin, my assistant, will uh, get you your information that you need. Also in those packets, there should be a form to fill out for your business cards. Everybody, on the, everybody here will get one. So uh, make sure you fill out that form and uh, you can just leave them up here after you uh, get done with those. Before I start, does anybody have any questions uh, Quick questions, and we'll ask questions again as we go on, but is there anything anybody wants to know about? Everybody does know we're in Albany, right? We plan on doing a lot of great things here at Capital News 9. Uh, New York One celebrating their 10-year anniversary, and they're the pioneers. They really set everything up for all the other news channels. Uh, it's been a busy year for the launch team from uh, Stanford, getting these news channels up and running. And this year alone, they got Charlotte on the air, Raleigh, Albany, Houston's coming online, and then San Antonio, Syracuse, and Milwaukee over the next um, 18 months. They've done a great job, and many, many people that have, that have been here for a while have been able to visit the operations in Charlotte and Raleigh and in New York One, and they really know that um, Time Warner is putting first-class facilities together for all these startup locations. The great thing about us is we're going to have a lot of synergy with some of the other stations that are in New York State. We'll be sharing material on news and sports and for large events. Uh, we have an affiliate in Rochester. We'll have an affiliate in Syracuse, Syracuse News Channel, come next spring, and then our connect connection with New York One. So we're going to be able to share stories on a regular basis to New York, stories that we're going to be doing at the Capitol. Uh, there's a lot of sports synergy with Rochester and Syracuse on a whole number of areas with different sports leagues. So we'll be busy, busy with that. Uh, the one great thing about a startup is that we have the opportunity to try a lot of different things. And we as a management team, you'll be meeting my managers in a second, that you'll be able to pr provide and present stories to us that we're going to be able to try that maybe you wouldn't be able to do at one of the affiliates in town. The big thing about us is that we're on the air 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. And it's the convenience that 2 o'clock in the afternoon, there's a big story that breaks. We can go with it on the air live. I mean, the other folks in town could do it, but, you know, everybody's going to be calling up wanting to know whether soap opera went at 2 p.m. So, but weather, we're going to be the premier weather station in town because um, we're going to be able to stay on the air much longer than anybody else. Uh, we have uh, four folks in our weather department. We have a state-of-the-art weather facility uh, that's being designed with us with WSI from Massachusetts. And um, so that's going to be great. Um, if you came into the parking lot, we have three live trucks. We're the only uh, news operation in town with two satellite trucks, which is great. So that will help us out in many of the outlying areas. Besides this facility, we have four news bureaus within the region. Uh, they are located in strategic locations in Saratoga, Glens Falls, 
Amsterdam, and in Berkshire County and Pittsfield. So we'll be able to cover those areas. We have reporters assigned to each one of those bureaus, and we'll be able to cover those on a regular basis. The other stations do it, but I think we're going to do a much better job of that because we'll have reporters that are, be, that are going to be living in each one of those towns. The one thing that I will impress on everybody is that we need to be accurate with our information. We need to be concise with our information. You know, people are going to turn to us, especially in breaking news stories, to get our facts straight. And the executive producers and the managers here will be writing their reporters, VJs, photographers pretty hard because uh, we really want to raise that bar and be the uh, top news operation in town. And I really feel on paper that we've got a great group here. There's a great mix of veteran journalists, some folks that are just out of school, and some folks that have been in the business for a couple of years. And I think once you get your schedules and where you're going to be working, you'll see there's a nice balance between... Uh, you know, everybody that's working here. The segue into that, I have a great management team. Last November when um, we posted the positions for the managers for the news operation, I had over 800 applicants. Everybody was saying to me, what have you been doing, you know, over the last couple of months or, you know, since last November? And spent a lot of time interviewing a lot of top quality managers from around the uh, country. And um, in many ways, we turn right back into the capital region here, bringing a lot of folks on board. Uh, the first introduced, uh, Chris Bruner. Chris is the uh, news director. Chris came to us from uh, WNYT. Chris was there for 25 years, right? 24.75. <laughs> Chris brings a lot to the operation. Um, assistant news director at WNYT, uh, top reporter, producer. So Chris has seen it all in this region, and it's a uh, uh, pleasure uh, to have Chris on board and uh, Chris is going to talk about a couple of things that we have planned you know over the next couple of weeks and what we uh, plan you know once we get on the air in October. Chris? Hi, welcome to everybody and uh, it's so strange seeing such a huge bunch of people in this room where just a couple of months ago there were sort of ribbons of boards going this way. Um, first time I saw this with Al about uh, what was it, January? Uh, it was a giant empty room. You could put an ice rink in here. There's plenty of room. Got a little smaller, but uh, as you sit in this room and as you wander around this building, you're looking at uh, a building and a facility and an institution that is going to change the way uh, news is done in this area and the way people are going to watch news. Um, I feel especially honored and privileged to having been, in, I will just say, invited to the party, if you will. Um, you know, we were, we were in the affiliate world all kind of battling each other out, kind of a four-way battle for getting the best stories and duking it out and trying to get it all in the 6 o'clock news. And along comes a complete change in the way things are done. Uh, suddenly, uh, this whole New York One concept of 24-7 local news uh, lands in our lap here in Albany. And what do you know, they just bring the whole thing up here and just plop it here. They've, they've brought a major market facility to Albany. I mean, you're, you're sitting around desks and looking at stuff, You'll notice there's nothing but flat screens. There's no old crapped out CRTs laying around. Uh, all the gear is new, at least for the first five years it will be. Um, and so it's, it's a great sense of privilege that I come here and, and join this group here. Um, for a lot of you, it is kind of a homecoming and deliberately so. Um, many of you have some roots in this area and that was a feature we liked. That means for those of you who don't have roots in the area, that doesn't mean we don't like you. We picked you because you had some very, some great strengths and we thought you'd really uh, enjoy being with us and be able to make a huge contribution to the operation. And that's why you're all here. Um, you're looking, uh, you know, there's about 90 people in this room and there are probably uh, anywhere from 500 to 1,000 people who wanted to be in this room. So you're among a privileged few who get to be here. And as I said in uh, the letter that I put in the uh, your, your little book. Did we get the book out yet to everybody? There's a book, there's a letter in there. It's, um, this is unique. I mean, uh, I, I suspect that this may be the only startup I'll ever be involved in in my professional life. Uh, it's a circumstance where you'll receive the kind of training that you would have wished that when you'd gone to another job, you could have gotten. How many of us landed in a new job and it's like, training, oh yeah, well, listen, you're going to be producing the 11 tonight, so uh, better get on the computer and figure out what's going on. <laughs> Um, we have a unique privilege here in the next six or seven weeks, I haven't exactly done the math, about seven weeks, to actually spend all the time 
to bring everybody up to speed on what is an absolute state-of-the-art facility. There's nothing like this except at Time Warner at the other stations in the country. Some affiliates are doing a lot of nonlinear stuff and uh, server type stuff, but the whole package together, including the whole architecture of the building, the way the building is laid out, is right done from the bottom up, is done professionally, and is laid out just stunning. So, you know, every once in a while, just stop and look around the room and look at the stuff that's here and look around and enjoy the people that you're with. I've already noticed that there's sort of like little reunions going on, you know. The Plattsburgh people are meeting each other again for the, the first time. You know, people have been to Plattsburgh and went to WRGB and got together. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, alumni reunions from, from old places. That's great. Um, but again, anyway, over the next seven weeks, we're going to learn a lot about how the facility works. An important component of that training will be uh, how we're going to cover news in the Albany region. And we're also going to learn about, you know, the kind of, kinds of things I will expect, the kind of quality stuff I will expect out of everybody. Um, the what we're going to cover, how we're going to cover it, the sort of temperament we'll bring to the air. Um, we're going to try to raise the bar in notches and notches. Uh, again, this town was kind of a, a three and a half, four horse race. And it's kind of a four horse race and pretty soon it's going to be a five horse race. And I think the other guys are going to realize that we have some huge advantages over them. I'll mention already in the realm of weather. Um, the beginning of the summer there was a tornado warning in this area. The affiliates went on in fits and spurts. They tried to cover it. They were breathing up against primetime deadline, primetime programming, an NBA uh, final kickoff, and they had to kind of skedaddle and get off the air. We don't have to worry about that. We can, we can run with it. We can deliver to the audience that which they must have, and that is important weather information. And we don't have to worry about stepping on Jerry Springer or Oprah or NBC primetime. And people are going to recognize that, and when something big breaks, they're going to be, they're going to be flipping it over to Channel 9. Nice single digit, nice and easy to remember. Weather on the nines. Um, and, in, and the same goes for breaking news. If, uh, if we have a big event that's happening at uh, 10 in the morning or 2 in the afternoon, it's going to be on live with us. Um, we're going to make some important inroads on weekends. Uh, we, have, uh, an, we have an ability here to uh, make a huge dent on weekend coverage around here that is not done. The affiliates around here barely touch the weekends and there is a potential for developing a really huge and new audience to uh, weekend local news that does not exist right now because the weekend coverage around here is kind of sporadic. There's little cuts in, cut-ins here, and, and there's a show here, and nothing on Sunday, and nothing in the afternoon. Um, and we have the ability way down the road also to uh, kind of think creatively because we have a huge, huge blank slate to paint on. We've got 24-7. Initially, we're going to start off doing primarily news and weather wheels, right around the clock, 24-7. But down the road, as we begin to feel a comfort zone with our area and see uh, some different sort of niches and programming opportunities, we're going to take a look at the possibility of, of doing some kind of longer form stuff. Uh, even as we are doing these 24-7 wheels initially in the first year or so, we have the ability to kind of stretch out coverage and do in-depth interviews and in-depth reporting. Um, a little longer form. We're not going to be stuck initially at that minute 30 thing. If something warrants two minutes and 30 seconds, we can cut loose and do it, which is a, which is a great uh, possibility. We don't have to worry about being format busters. That, uh, you know, the five o'clock news can't do two and a half minutes. People are going to be tuning out. People are going to expect us to be doing news. They're going to expect us to do quality and in-depth reporting. So we have some, I hope I'm not spitting on too much. Let's see, okay. Let's see these little okay. blasting away. I'll always apologize for spitting on people. Here, so. <laughs> don't worry about that. But. Um, so there's some great opportunities, and we look to all of you to provide the input, the ideas, and to kind of help us, you know, get down the road to figure out exactly what we're going to do. And uh, there's a lot of talented people here in this room, and we expect you to open your mouths and speak out early and often and help us uh, move on into the future. Um, again, I will just close by saying that uh, this is a great adventure. Um, this is sort of a peak moment here. For all of us, where this is today is one of that peak moment. October 11th at one o'clock will be another very exciting moment. There'll be another huge crowd in here, probably three times this big, for when the button is pushed. You'll get to meet the entire Bruner family and a few hangers-on that are along for the ride. You'll get to meet my uh, best college buddy too. He's he's committed to being here, come hell or high water, because um, he's not going to miss it for the world. And every once in a while, I intrude on his work world. So uh, enjoy yourselves. You will be challenged for the next couple of weeks. It will be like an intensive college course for seven weeks. Um, appreciate that privilege to learn 
something completely new and, uh, and to gain some new knowledge that uh, you would not have gotten in going to a, just an average rum, dumb, humdrum affiliate type of job. Um, that's a unique thing to be able to do. And Time Warner really has uh, rolled it all out for you. There's a launch team guys over here who uh, travel from town to town and do a real bang up job of making all this stuff work right. And from what I understand, the HAL 9000 unit works. So we're off to the races. Welcome. Ah. <laughs> Next up, to speak briefly, or, or long if she likes, we can all do our Castro speeches while we're here. As a matter of fact, I'd like to tell you about the time back in the if I, I have this habit of talking too long, so and I recognize it, so at least that's good. Um, when I started looking around for an assistant news director, there was somebody who was already by reputation front and center. And uh, I did look. I did go through and interview uh, a lot of possible prospects, think about people. But the, uh, the candidate that was telegraphed to us right from the get-go, who comes with a wealth of experience and whose personality and it's together it's going to be a learning curve um, some of us are going to learn things a little faster than others but we're a team and we're on board to learn together to make this the best product possible and to have fun while we're here so that's what i want us all to do and welcome thanks mary there's a large responsibility for the and we're training to train everyone else and um we're just going to go along and move forward. Uh, but we're really excited, and the support is, is, is great here, not only with everybody hired, but as long as... So what bus are you taking? We're taking bus two. You're taking two? You're, and you're on bus one. Okay. I'm on bus one. I'm on two. Hey, thanks for taking. Job. Thanks for taking those pictures. There's bus two. Yeah. Oh. I don't see a TV set. Oh yeah, there's one back there. The evil videotape. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. Thank you. We're here at Time Warner Cable Albany Division with Chris Bruner is on the camera. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well said. Well said. No interviews today, no, not talking to the media. No talking. No, no, no. We'll be on TV! Do you ever attend yeah. management school? Okay, let me give you my cell number. Oh, uh, come on, stash call it, me on, Scott. Call We're me playing. on that number. Okay, trying to get the trucks labeled right now, Chris. Good. <laughs> Talk to you later, Sandy. Thank you. In the garage. Bye bye. All right. We're trying to get the damn truck labeled. Oh, okay. Otherwise, We're... we will be the known as the station with white trucks. <laughs> Is not good. Are they in the garage? Yeah, that yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a off we go. Hey Donna. Yeah. <laughs>
Six weeks? Yeah. Isn't it? Because even now, like, it's really expensive. And I know Okay, well, they're basically unseeable specs. Oh, okay. Bob Skipper in the boat. Who's up there with the captain? Hey, Mom. So, would you be able to? I mean, do you camp near your little? Uh, do you camp near your little rock? Nah, I do day trips. Day trips. It's like an hour and thirty minutes to get here from my house. Could you? Uh, Put down a tent if you wanted to? Yeah, further up the hill, there's campsites where you can, and you don't have to pay. And it's a little parking lot, and it's in the woods. A little primitive camping? Yeah. Well, it's not that primitive. I think anything next to a road to me is not primitive. <laughs> right. There it is. Now a little stuff. you do, do it very gently, you know, don't, don't overturn it, just a little bit on the wheel, and if it doesn't respond, give it a little bit more, when it does respond, start to turn back a little bit uh, before you get to your point. Like an airplane, don't over control. There you go. This is fun. <laughs> you okay? Here we go. What's that big rock dead ahead there? That's correct. Okay, see this island right here? That's Phelps Island. Let's bring it around easy and aim for Phelps Island. The one with the, like, rock? Yep. Yeah. Now I'm going to throw you all out of whack because I'm going to bring the throttles back, which is going to make it throw you off just a little bit. Coming into the harbor. And no sign. I'm going to Thank you so much. This was a beautiful day. No extreme close-up. Back to re oh, you want extreme close-up? No, you no, got it. No, <laughs> no extreme close-up. Back to reality, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just ready. remember this moment when it's November fifteenth, 
I and will. you're chained to the tiller. I will. And you're going, what the hell did I get myself in for here? I'll never say that. Okay, good. <laughs> you have that on tape. You've you learned well, my child. Now you have that on tape. I know. Yeah, I'm going to drag this back out when you come in my house and go, whoa! <laughs> Hello. I can't see a darn thing, though. Posing for a picture. <laughs> what is this wet plate or what? It's got to etch it. I'm not going on the dock. Just a few more hours. Well, we're still the television workshop on Waterbleed Avenue. And we're going to be the television station on Waterbleed Avenue. So I just thought I'd share a few private moments with you folks there. Uh, oh, God. This thing's overexposed. Makes me look like I'm a thousand years old. I guess I am a thousand years old. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. All right. It's 12.27. 32 minutes. We're watching the show. So far, so good. Major disasters. And AJ yet. and Skip. That's right. Capturing the moment. <laughs> Capturing the moment. <laughs> disasters yet. So far, so good. Everything's workable and everything's doing fine. Happy, things are good. Fox. I got calls from people in Fox. Oh, nice. Rich, yeah. That's nice. Rich, Rich Becker, our deli left messages. That's nice. Yeah, I'm shocked. Don't mind. I claim my whole month's schedule. This day. Set it away. Month? Or like police reports and all that kind of thing. Um, this, well, this is like there he is. Competition. Hey. Hey. Oh, Joe. Congratulations. I, I, I hope you, you had up. your back turned. I thought you were my brother. I'm going, okay. gee, you're kind of tall. What happened? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome, boss. Oh, you're the boss. Hey, how are you? Hey, the boss. I have a question. Do all the photographers the have to wear black? <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a, sort of a goth the thing. Boss. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I see that they do. Oh, you're my age. Yeah. <laughs> you're a little younger. Nobody's ever done this before. Eleven minutes. Another baby about to be born. <laughs> We're just sitting here patiently. Yep. This is the shooting piece we're going to stick in, right? <laughs> how are you? Are? Say hi, um, hey, yes. how are you? Good. Glad to be here. Ten minutes. Ten minutes and counting. Yep. That's the end of my TV career. Never, never. There's always a future. <laughs> okay, we're five minutes away. We're ready. The difference is our reporters actually live in the community. They know what interests them. They want to help them. Avoid construction and help get to where you're going. Our traffic department. Right. We know that you don't have the time to sit in your traffic, so we're out there letting you know where you need to be, where you shouldn't go. Exactly where are you when you lodged, Chris? Where are you going to be? I'm going to be in the second row behind Al. Oh, good. Okay. I'm in the pecking order here. You gotta go black for 30 seconds. Alright, Rodrigo, I'm gonna go try that other network connection in the foundry now, okay? Can we turn the lights off? Can we that light thing? No. Yeah, That's always interesting. We invited them. Sometimes they don't. There's Conti. We had no Conti's here. I saw Conti. We dared them to bring a camera and cover it. What a bunch of stiffs. They're all busy, right? Yep. 
Yeah, she's going, I don't know. You're nervous because I'm now an employee. Yeah, don't be nervous now. <laughs> Rodrigo. Pushing everybody out of the way, Rodrigo? <laughs> Rodrigo, come on. Come on up here. Push the green button. Yeah. Push the green you know which button? Hey, we're I'm glad you got dressed up today. Yeah, he's got a phone right with Chris Lemire. He's got a few least bought chinos. He's got his work clothes on. Super casual. He's got his work clothes on. We were working all night long. These are our pajamas. I thought he had flaps on the back. 20 seconds. <laughs> 15. Oops. I'm going to pee in my pants. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and you're on. Make sure it's working. <laughs> yeah, it's working. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do that. Every single one does. Nice work, James. Yes, thank you. Long may it live. Man, that's nerve-wracking. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting us play. Hey, three times. Toys like this. I'm sorry, it doesn't stop that. Yeah. Okay, guys. Hey, Rich. Now the real work. Yeah, I started working on this project about a year ago, and um, this place used to be the Albany Bowling Center. It's amazing what has happened over a year's time. We're all very excited about being here in the capital region. Twenty four people are going to be speaking today. We're going to keep it short because we're going to be producing our newsreels all afternoon, all day, every day. <laughs> I wanted to thank a couple people. First off, I want to thank my management team. Thank uh, the group from the launch and design team who got us through, helped us, stayed here the late hours, and uh, really got us to you know, be the premier news operation here in the uh, capital region. Now, specifically, I'd like to thank um, John Newton, Harlan Nugaborn, Mark Aronson, Elliot Weiser, and James Lee. And I, this facility is, just, is unbelievable. I mean, if you walk around here, it just, it's amazing that, you know, this used to be a bowling center at one point, and now it's a 24-7 uh, news operation. Uh, we have big shoes to fill. Ten years ago, New York won. They went on the air. A lot has happened with news channels during that time. I'm sure that we'll be, we'll be adding a lot to your news, uh, to your whole station, to, to your endeavors, and I, I do appreciate the commitment. This was a bowling alley, and this building was a mess. For those people that are new to this area, I mean, this place was in terrible shape. And you know, I want to thank the uh, Time Warner family for taking a building that we really didn't know what we were going to do with and making it a real, real, a very, very important building as far as I'm concerned. And what I don't see here are other news channels. Why? What's the deal? They're about Can we get the coverage here? That's <laughs> positive, you know. What do you want? Only kidding you, media. But, uh, <laughs> I am looking forward, you know, I am looking forward to working with you guys and Ben and Wayne are all assigned here. If you're new to the area, this is a great region to live in and work in and play in. This city has made a lot of progress in the past eight years. There's a lot of things to enjoy. Get out, make yourself known, and uh, my office is always available. I don't have a PIO. I do it all myself. So simulating uh, going live, actually sort of going live in the background. For the last 10 days, every time I ran into Al, I kept on asking him, now, why are we waiting until Friday to launch this? Because <laughs> this looks so damn good every time I've turned it on and been watching it that, uh, you know, I, I shouldn't be saying this in public, but I like it better than Europe One already, so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I really uh, uh, want to thank a few people. As uh, Al has said, um, it's been a real team effort. Uh, 
the Albany Division from the HR Department to Public Affairs to Construction to Engineering. These are a bigger and bigger part of our business. Uh, we will have, in fact, before too long, a dozen of these. Uh, it's exciting to say the least. Uh, I wanted also, obviously, to thank Steve Pagano and Peter Topkin and everybody at the division here who really uh, helped us from the very beginning to plan this and execute what is obviously an extraordinary uh, new business for us. And again, I want to uh, thank and rethank the, the folks that work for me on the technical side. People have mentioned Harlan Nugaborn and uh, Chris Lemire and Rodrigo Fernandez, uh, as well as Paul Gordon and Len Murray, who uh, work day and night on these things. So. We've been seeing everything that's going on in this facility, and uh, we have some food for you over in the news conference room. We have news production all afternoon. So I'd like to thank everybody for coming today. For exciting things coming down. And uh, thanks again for coming. I appreciate it. Cousins. Yeah, they're cousins. They're cousins. I got a, a chuckle out of your quote in one of your notes about Chris's digital palace. <laughs> Bricks and mortars, or is it ones and zeros? I'm not sure. And you found him. Yeah, we found him. Okay. He's in here getting. He's downloading stuff right now. Paul. It's a joke. It's a joke. Is it main computer? This is the computer that uh, everything everything in the building is tied to. Um, and there's a million feet of wiring that run out under the flooring it's, it's and, and down, we down the hall. We were here when the floors weren't in. Mm -hmm. oh. Is my internet server in this space? <laughs> no, nah, you can do, uh, there's a whole slew of internet servers in here. Um, uh, there are some. Go in here. Do you have Hey. Hey there. Hey now. Sue Fine Joe Shigazel. Yes. I was giving the congressman a tour. Before you get away, yeah. we got to know how to turn the sound on your big screen TV. We can't do Nobody, it. Nobody, uh, take Mark, Mark home and have Mark him figure it out. Mark couldn't do it. Fred couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. We I pushed couldn't all pull him away from oh, it. Yeah, you gotta, we pushed all the buttons. <laughs> you can't figure it out. Well, last night I watched TV, but I couldn't make the surround sound. Yeah. Today we can't get any sound from anything. My friend is very kind. He probably agrees with that statement. Your eyes funny and looking around. She's stretching and getting comfortable. It's like getting ready for the high jump. So there has to be somebody sitting there so it's not blank. It's about to yawn. No, she's getting, no, no, she's getting ready for the next recording of a of a news bit. What are you doing? Looking at your work. Oh no, not that. <laughs> you're, the, you're the one that doesn't like to be on TV. All right, sorry. <laughs> well, there was. That was pretty darn exciting. I got pretty jazzed up. That was a lot of fun. Having everybody here and everything, it was, it, was, uh, it was even more fun than Charlotte, actually, because it was my TV station, 54321. That was really cool. So that's my TV station. It's all launched. Now we got to get back down to the hard part, which is running the joint forever, or until I decide to retire. Somebody comes along and says, hey, you need to go do something else different now. So thanks for joining me. That's my TV station, and I'll see you all later. <laughs>